All right, we continue Ready or Not Week with everything you should have in your home's first aid kit. Here to break it all down for us is emergency medicine physician, Dr. Samson Davis. Yes. That is a serious Hi, Dr. Davis. How are you? job you've got. So thanks for spending some time with us Absolutely. today. Absolutely. Everybody's first aid kit looks a little bit different, no? Yes, yeah. So this is the basics. This okay. is the basics. Yours may be different. Mm -hmm. Ryan's yours will be as well. So we all we all can start with, you know, the first aid kit, but we start with lacerations, cuts, bruises, things in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Little falls and trips. So. Acid reflux pills? Uh, you can have those okay, in there as well. It, sure. But we got the gloves. gloves. Right. You don't want to start with gloves and so make sure if you have to treat a cut or a wound that you glove up because you don't want to spread the infection and you certainly don't want to pick up one. When I see these gloves, I think of self tanner. Should I put self tanner in here in case I'm <laughs> lost somewhere? Each his own. Okay, got it. Everybody's okay, is different. Start. I'm starting Cotton gloves. Candy got Kelly. it. Got it. And so you have your antiseptic wipe. You want to make okay. sure you clean the area, mm -hmm. the wound as well. Mm -hmm. And then you want to put the triple antibiotic on, triple you know, antibiotic. in there. Triple right? antibiotic. Why is it triple? I have no clue, Thank but you. it's an antibiotic Be one. Be careful when you're chopping the onions. <laughs> okay. Now, right. what, what's here? So these are your bandages, right? You start mm -hmm. obviously with what we know when we have kids the simple band-aid mm -hmm. you know most of those are more colorful and dynamic for our children yeah. right so we mm -hmm. have mickey mouse and and therefore mm -hmm. throwing those but then we have the larger bandages the gauze which helps to stop the bleeding or any oozing from the wound mm -hmm. itself right and then your bigger bandages for the bigger wounds we if you get to the abdominal pad though you should call 911 <laughs> am i right like something I mean, if, I'm, if i'm wearing an abdominal pad something has gone terribly wrong at that point it's a little bit concerning because you got a bigger bandage which means, which means a bigger wound and then pressure. You also have to put pressure okay. as well. Right. So I should put up. that in yep. here too, yeah? yeah. Yep. Okay. Now we've Let's got move. nice and organized. And move scissors on down. The tape. So now the scissors, sometimes you have to cut the, the bandages to mm -hmm. fit the wounds. Some wounds may be bigger, smaller. It may be tr uh, different sort of diagonals. You want to make sure you cut the bandages. But also, surprisingly enough, you may have to cut the clothes, right? Mm -hmm. right? Oh my so, gosh, but shouldn't we call 911 like at this point? 911, I'd yes. be in here like, where are my mood stabilizing <laughs> pills? And you now, take those first right, before you okay. cut any before clothing. Before you cut any clothing off. Okay, got okay. it. And, and then the tape to tape the bandages up as you call 911. You don't want to use your teeth because that could be unhygienic, well, right? You no, know, I mean, the in a pinch, right just in get pinch. it covered right. and got tape it, it up. Got Stop it. the bleeding. Yeah, got it. So as, as we are more mobile and we move around, we twist our ankles, our knees, uh, minor burns, you always want to have great. That pack. I could use off. Ice pack. Right. And this is the kind you just break and shake, pop. right? Okay. Yep, you Got pop it. it and it just shake it and you apply it. And then your flashlight, the flashlight because accidents do happen in the dark. Yes, of course. Right. Absolutely. So you have your flashlight there. And you oh, press yeah. the I see. And then this is my first time using a flashlight, so. <laughs> Got when it. you run into the bed on your way to the bathroom okay. in the middle of the night, flashlight. you need that for your wound. Okay. Light it up, Got right? It. You light it up. A pregnancy test. <laughs> Tell us why. <laughs> well, you never know, right? So, exactly. But, you know, but, things happen in the dark. Yes. We were just saying. Sometimes in the dark, things happen. <laughs> so with this test, this is actually a COVID test, but oh. AKA looks almost like a pregnancy yes, test, right? Yes, got it. Sorry. So we swab, we apply the solution. Two uh, two lines mean you're positive. Right. <laughs> Got it. Right. <laughs> and one you line never don't see two lines. These tests, you never Kelly. want to They're see very two different lines. in terms of results. No two lines so here. So that's your at home COVID okay. test. Okay. And your temperature. You'd be surprised how many people I see in the emergency department say I have a fever. So I say, what was your temperature? And they say, I don't know. I was hot. <laughs> so we measure and look. He's just right. He's just right. Goldilocks. Just right. So anything greater than 100.4, 100.4, mm -hmm. not 104, is considered a fever. Got it. And you have okay. your ibuprofen, your acetaminophen mm -hmm. tape. Mm -hmm. Now this, with COVID, we see a lot of patients when they would come in, they would have low oxygen saturation. So we just want to press this button on here. And so ideally, you want to be above 95%. And with COVID, sometimes you would desaturate, your oxygen would drop and it'd be too late before you know it, you're in the hospital and, and then we had to really, really move fast to save a life. And so it's reading. Now I think you, my fingernail is blocking well, the whole the, reading. It's the polish sometimes that. 61? Uh, I'm dead, guys. Yeah, it's the I polish. I think it's the gels, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, gels yeah. getting in the way. Of the I've been reading. told that in the past. They're like, uh, your fingernails. Does it matter are, if you do this on the wrist or the. Well, you, you probably get a little lower reading. Yeah, yeah, I did. It just to, said low. L O. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> because the, the extremities are cold or cool. And, um, and here you have your first aid. 
your first aid guide. So this is kind of the cookbook of uh, just simple emergencies, what to do in a pinch. I mean, when emergencies happen, we're it's frantic. It's like I can't read that, and that yes. font is so small. We need glasses so in the first aid pack your reading glasses in the first aid <laughs> yeah. kit, because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. For sure. And so let's hope that uh, Ryan's, oh, yep, you're good. You're 97%. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Hey, good news. All right. Thank you, Dr. Davis. For more information, head to our website, kellyandryan.com. Appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you.